Unlike every other WordPress content editor, Amenda doesn't just manage its own content. It can edit any content, no matter which theme, plugin, or page builder it came from. And thanks to the voice-activated AI assistant, we can simply ask our website to change. Make this text read Amend WordPress with AI. Send prompt. Reduce the font size by half and set the line height to 1. Send prompt. Add a scene of a floating green leaf spinning around an axis to the bottom of this section. Send prompt. Zoom the camera in a little bit on the leaf. Send prompt. Slide these columns in when they come into view. Send prompt. So just there we've made four changes to our site, including a 3D leaf on a canvas and a scroll animation for these columns. Uh, but we can also make changes using visual controls. So say I wanted to adjust the CSS a little bit based on what the AI assistant did for us to increase that a little bit and maybe a little bit more line height here. We can still fine tune any of the changes that the AI assistant makes for us. Every change that you make with Amenda is saved as a draft first, visible only to you as a logged in admin. That means you can experiment freely without worrying about breaking your live site. And you can undo every step with the click of a button. And if you want to check what's going on, head over to the review panel. It lists all of the modifications that we've made and also shows us the kinds of code that it's generating, either the raw CSS or the JavaScript. In this case, uh, the code for the 3JS uh, leaf effect as well as how much weight it adds to the page. And we can see that GSAP is quite modest, adding 68 kilobytes. And 3JS, which is a library used for creating 3D animations, is a bit heavier at 679. It's a completely transparent system, which can help you decide which effects are worth the weight they add to the page. This review panel is also useful if you want to jump back to make a particular change. So if I notice that the A here could be capitalized. I can jump back to the original edit and then make the adjustment accordingly. And to restore the content exactly as it was, I just delete my amender setting and it, the title is back to usual. So it's a completely non-destructive way to edit the site. Everything is reversible. And the best part is you don't even pay for amender until you're ready to publish your changes. Once you're happy, you can head over to themeover.com, purchase a license, enter it here, and then you'll be able to publish your changes for everyone else to see. So if you're keen to try this out on your own website, head over to themeover.com right now to get your free trial. For those of you that would like to dig a bit deeper, let's walk through the visual controls and some of Amenda's advanced features for developers. So I'm going to select this element here. And if we want to add uh, things like uh, images, links, formatting, that kind of thing, we just need to make sure that the rich text editor is enabled. Then I'm going to add some text here and make it into a link. Let's see, it's linked to the shop page. And I'm also going to insert an image. Let's do this image here. And if I want to tweak the code, I can uh, switch to the code view here find the image and set the width and the height to 100 to make it a little bit sharper. And then we can still go back to our visual text editor. We've also got a quick way, if we want to say remove uh, like a whole section or any individual element, uh, if I go to the remove HTML option and then use this enable removal feature here, then it completely disappears. The default point at which changes are made in Amenda is uh, DOM content loaded, which basically just means when the content has already been sent to the browser, the changes happen in your browser. But you can also choose a server side option, server side HTML ready. And that means that the change will be made by WordPress on the server before it's sent to the browser. And so when it comes to things like removing HTML and sections, you can actually speed up your website used by set using this removal feature and setting the event to server HTML ready.
And again, if we just change our mind, we can just turn off this removal and then our section comes back. So this top row of options here is all about editing text, adding new text and removing sections. The bottom row of options is for developers who want to make manual code changes. So for instance, we can add any class to any element using this option here. And by the way, if you are a fan of CSS utility libraries, you can actually enable support for Tailwind using the preferences here. So with that enabled, if we now uh, enter some kind of uh, Tailwind classes, we get an instant preview of how that looks. And we can also use our theme colors. Uh, let's see. And that just allows us to make use of Tailwind, but also keep our design consistent with the theme. We can, of course, still just add CSS styles in the usual way, though, using the add CSS shortcut. And the run.js function uh, shortcut just allows you to, say, add some interactivity to an element and set the event to click and then click the refresh button. Then when we click on this element, we get a little alert that tells us that it's been clicked. So you might use this feature to add a simple toggle, for instance, to show and hide some content. Incidentally, the AI Assistant uh, used uh, this JS function feature to run the animation for these uh, columns uh, on hover, uh, sorry, in view, which just kept the code needed to set up this animation really lean. And by the way, this search feature is very useful for uh, just jumping back and forth between uh, your, the various amendments that you've made with Amender. We can also make all sorts of other changes by creating our own custom action and aspects. So the action list uh, lists just some common things about adding or inserting before or after, lazy loading, moving, removing, we've already seen, and run, we've seen with function. Um, and the various aspects, a lot of which we've looked at before, is just things you can change about an element. So you might change this inner text or inner HTML or the outer HTML or some CSS styling or a bit of JavaScript. And you can also change any HTML attribute pretty easily using this option here. And this feature is what makes Amender so good at making surgical adjustments to any web page. For instance, let's say we wanted to move an element on the page. The first step would be to select the section where we want to move it to, just so that we can copy this selector here, which targets the element. Uh, the next step would be to, say, select the element that we actually want to move. And then I'm going to say, move the whole HTML. And I'm going to paste in the selector we copied. So that's now moved up here. And the default action is it's just appended it to the section. There are other options that you can insert something before or after or at the beginning of the section instead if we wanted to. It's worth pointing out that this workflow is different from a typical block editor or page builder. It's a system that's ideally suited for making adjustments to existing content in a flexible way. It's not designed really for creating pages from scratch, so conventional builders are still the best job for that. You can think of Amender as a universal editor that enhances your current WordPress stack by filling in customization gaps and adding nice effects. And on that subject, let's finish by looking at Amender's JavaScript package features. Some developers might find this to be one of the most useful features of Amender. Amender detects and then autoloads certain JavaScript libraries based on the code we write. It auto-loaded GSAP when the AI assistant created some code for animating our columns. And it auto-loaded 3JS when it created some code for this spinning leaf. And it also auto-detects AlpineJS if we use that in our HTML. So I'm going to add some HTML code. And because it's got these uh, Alpine attributes, we're prompted to install AlpineJS. And it tells us exactly how many kilobytes the package is. If we click Install, Amender reloads the page, and now we now have Alpine set up. So I'm just going to turn off highlighting, and click on these tabs, and you can see that it switches the tab. Alpine.js is very popular among Tailwind users. 
because it keeps the styling and the interactivity that would normally be controlled with JavaScript all in one place along with the HTML. If we expand the snippet options down here, we can see that Amenda has auto-loaded Alpine.js. For all other NPM packages, we simply search for something, click the Add button, and we can choose to load it locally, uh, so it's installed on our website, or via a CDN, which is the default. And if we ever need to update a specific version, we just select it from this drop-down list here. So this NPM manager just takes all the pain out of managing and updating JavaScript libraries. And by the way, all of the changes Amenda makes are set in these folders here, which can be, you can set to load uh, on individual pages like here, or you can add uh, lots of conditions for including your folder settings on sets of related pages, or if you just fully clear this, then the folder will load globally, and that's shown by the uh, solid folder icon. Now, Amenda will organize your folders, all of your settings into folders automatically. Um, you, if you've got this auto folder option here, and you can set switch between the default of page specific or global settings here. And there's another video which goes into this in a lot more detail. So I hope it's been clear from this video that Amenda can make editing a site much easier for non-technical users by allowing them to simply ask their website to change via the AI assistant. But there's also plenty of features to help developers edit those hard to reach places and make their sites pop with professional animations and 3D scenes. And don't forget, Amenda is completely free to experiment with. You only pay when you're ready to publish. So head over to themeover.com right now to find out more. Thank you so much for watching.